I recently got one of these Kato interior lighting kits for Kato passenger cars. And I have a bunch of Amtrak Superliners and Amfleet cars. So I figured I want to light them up. So I just want to experiment with these. So I bought one of these at my local hobby shop. It's about 12 bucks. And there's a big problem with one of these things. Um, you follow the directions and all that. There's some excellent YouTube videos on how to do that. Um, but there's a problem with them because if you assemble them, they come out like this. The light distribution is very uneven. You have like one side of the car. This is very brightly lit and the rest of the car is very dim. But I've come up with a solution how to fix that. And it's very, very simple. Now, this is what the car looks like with the shell off. Um, basically, all it is is you have a little LED lighting unit that um, touches a couple of uh, brass uh, contact strips that you insert there. And it comes in contact with the truck contact strips. And um, so you have one bright LED light on one side of the car. And then you have this glass thing, which has a printed white uh, lighting strip. And obviously the directions say you have to have the printed side up and the, uh, the bell or the, the trumpet bell, I call it, uh, facing away from the light source. So basically you place it like this and it's supposed to spread the light evenly. The problem with that is, is that you have, even with the shell on, you have this lighted, uh, sorry, this LED light source bleeding through and that can wreak havoc. But I've come up with a very, very simple solution. All you need is a piece of electrical tape uh, this piece of electrical tape is exactly 10 millimeter, or that's one centimeter, 10 millimeter by eight millimeter. Now, I'm not really pro metric system, but when you deal with N scale, it's a lot easier to deal with, with measures that way. So this piece is, um, again, 10 millimeters wide and, sorry, 10 millimeters long and eight millimeters wide. And what you do is you take the piece of electrical tape. Um, you have the long way go, sorry, the, the 10 millimeter side go sideways. And then you go all the way, all you have to do is cover the top, which goes between, right between these two lines here. And so you cover one half Half of the tape covers the lighting, uh, plastic lighting strip. And then you have the other half go directly over the lighting board, the lighting element, just like that. So basically you're covering the LED, you're preventing bleed through. And you're making the, uh, the top of the board, top of the lighting, uh, plastic lighting strip, even with the top of the lighting element. So when you light it up, sorry, when you plug it in, the light is evenly distributed. And all you have to do is you don't have to deal with uh, placing it on the shell here. You could just do it like this and pop the shell in. And there you go. The light is evenly disputed. And also I've learned that if you, deal, if you have flickering, constant flickering in these things, the best remedy is short of installing a, a capacitor, um, keeping your wheels clean. So I would uh, clean your passenger car wheels to ensure maximum contact. But there, there we go. It's evenly lit up. And even if you stare at the, uh, look at the uh, side where the lighting element is, 
you could just kind of barely see it. And I've already tested this out with some super liners and it works the same. So there you go. That's how you evenly distribute the light on the Kato lighting strip kits.